All right, so now we are gonna look at our chart again. Dun, dun, dun. Um, so it's pretty well covered up. I also was thinking that you do not need, um, you really don't need one times one. You really don't need two times one or two times two, nor do you need your threes because you just know those. Even, I mean, come on, you know that. So, I wanted to point out to you that this is all that's left that you need to know. Not so bad, right? When we think, oh, I can't learn all those facts, there aren't as many as you would think. You can do it. All right, now we're going to have some fun cutting triangles. Da -da -da, adventures and cutting paper. So, like I warned you, it's a pink day. I don't know. I really can't see well today. Here we go. Um, oy, oy, oy. Can you see this? No, you can see my lap. You can't see. All right, me all work in my lap. Pink paper. Uh, so I want you to fold your paper horizontally. I'm going to get on my knees for this. Can you see this? Yes, you can see all this. Okay. Alrighty. So fold your paper horizontally, just like origami time. And then what you can do is we are going to fold this side so that it touches this side. Right, so all I have is my horizontal paper that I brought the, and so now I have my isosceles triangle. Now I'm gonna fold my isosceles triangle up, making another isosceles triangle. get one more in here. I don't think I can do two more. I think I can do one more. All right. And now I'm going to cut. All right. And when I open this, I have a lovely square filled with triangles. So I am going to cut Time to make some triangle flashcards. So, I'm going to ignore my first row and my second row because those are all times one and times two. And I just feel like, well, okay, I'll leave, I'll leave the higher times two. That's fine. Not, I'm not leaving four times two. Well, all right, I will, but no ones. Okay, I don't need to cover those. Well, I will, just to be thorough. I will cover the ones. And then we're getting started. We'll start with the twos, or let's go backwards. Let's start with the nine. All right, here we go. So, get a pen that will show up. I hope this blue works, but I kind of don't remember if this blue works. So nine times nine is 81. So I'm gonna put a nine, can you see me? Yes, and a nine and an 81. Should look like that. 
Next, I'm going to put a 9 and an 8 and a 72. And next, I'm going to do a 9 times 7 equals 63. And on and on. I'm going to do 9 times 6 equals 54. Okay, and we're going to go on and on until we have all of these equations. And then, when we get together as a group, we're going to play some games with them. But just, oi, oi, oi. Just so you know how to play. It will be like this. When it's your turn, you will hold up your card, but you'll cover one part of it. So maybe the product. So what is 9 times 6? 54. Good. Now, you can also cover... A different side. What's 54 divided by 9? Or how many 9's fit into 54? 6. It's just like our morning warm-up math that we've been doing. What's 54 divided by 6? Or how many 6's fit into 54? Ta-da! So please make your flashcards and I will see you next time and we'll play with them.